This is Tony Fell, and uh, I want to thank you guys for watching and welcome you all to my channel. And today I got my buddy Tony, yes, uh, a new uh, friend of mine, and we, we met actually through uh, Central, Flo Central Florida Air Joiners. And today we just uh, wanted to discuss his new Maverick and his unboxing. And I'm going to tell you, he's ecstatic with this gun, and uh, he did the right choice in picking up an FX. So Tony, uh, what made you what made you uh, choose the FX out of all the products out in the market? Well, uh, the masses seem to be drawn to something that's good, and when it's good, that's where everybody's at. And I've been on YouTube for a couple of years now. I've watched 68 Whiskey, Keith and Norm. I've watched Utah Air Guns, Justin Jacobson and his crew do their thing. I know we don't have the kind of range and distance that those guys have. They're blessed to have They're all that. They're blessed to have that distance. We do what we can with what's available what to us. What we have, yes. And to see those guys rock the Maverick the way that they do, from Keith and Norm to Justin and his crew, and then to see you pop yours off, <laughs> man, that was more than enough. Wow, thank that you. That was thank more you. than enough. Thank you. And, uh, um, uh, my it, choice was my choice was real easy. FX Maverick. If it's good, because yeah, I'm aware that you also have what an AEA uh, a Challenger a, Pro, yeah, right? I've got an AEA Challenger Pro, and I also have an M3. And excuse me, uh, FX Impact M3, barred in 30, uh, 357 caliber, and tuned it down to 30. But now I'm taking it back to 357 because this is the new sheriff in town. There we go. There we go. Now, Tony. I've noticed that you got some extreme accessories on here, and, and I'm ecstatic to see this. Yeah. I mean, I personally don't have these on my gun, and you're a hunter as well as I yeah. am. So, yeah. so mm -hmm. you know how we're we're out in the woods, and, and we 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 don't want to carry so much weight. So, I'm going to be honest with you. I never purchased any of Donnie's products, or or the uh, what's Crawford and Lip. Because yes. I thought it would actually increase the weight of my gun. But, but I'm going to tell you uh, something. Out in the field, carrying this, for me, is no problem. And I'm kind of up in age. I'm not a young, <laughs> not a spring chicken. Oh, yeah. But this setup makes it so easy to stay on point. And the reason I know that, and I haven't even shot it yet, is because I've seen the guys do it. Correct. I've seen Keith and Norm from 68, 68 Whiskey. I've seen Justin Jacobson and his crew rocking a Maverick or an Impact with these same accessories. And well, they don't miss a beat. And I've, I've seen them videos too. Yeah, I've they seen don't them miss videos. a beat. Now, this is, like I said, this is my first time actually having one of these in my hands. And, and I'm going to tell you, I am ecstatic and I'm impressed with the quality of Safer Tactical products. I did. I never had a close-up look at it, but I'm gonna tell you that backbone rail up on top is doing its job. Oh, yeah. and, and I've, I've observed you know, how it's mounted on here. Yeah. All of this arrived yesterday and morning, Saturday morning at 8:45 a.m. via Utah Air Guns. So yes, shout also, out to yes. Justin shout and his crew. Out. Exactly, and Utah guys, Air Guns. You do what you do. Yes, I'll sir. Yes, it. sir. We Utah love Air Guns. That's where I actually. Uh, uh, picked up my uh, impact. Um, listen, my observation with the Donnie's products that they're, they're they're very well made, and I'm I'm impressed with this with this backbone up here. Yeah, the TRS. The yes. TRS because why? Why is it? Well, I was not aware that it was it was yeah it actually plans. holding the yes, shroud. You get extra support. So. And extra real estate. So if I take this sunshade off right exactly. here, exactly, I've got a whole lot more real estate out here where I can mount a night optic, mm -hmm. like I've seen uh, Keith on so, 68. So Wilson. technically, there's no need for a barrel band here. No need, not at all, none whatsoever. Not this at all. Does the job that barrel clamp? Exactly, does that barrel the clamp job. right here in the front is actually holding that shroud stiff. Yes, it is. To reduce mm -hmm. the harmonic. Uh, uh, Sound or vibration that yeah. can I mean, be caused in the firing this gun. She's not going to do much shaking, and, and that's the key for us. We we, we want to be able to eliminate as much of uh, 
harmonic tuning that this barrel can create, and, and that, right. that is and an outstanding that, product. There's a uh, carbon fiber sleeve on the inside. There you go. And I've got 20 MOF camp built into this TRS rail, along with the other level back of effects, which will help me with my camp. And exactly. uh, a Sabre Tactical all the way. And as you can see right here on the bottom where I've got my bod pod, you guys look past the bot pod. Uh, <laughs> I'm saving up for that uh, big boy, the uh, Accutac. That's coming soon. Yes, Accutac. sir. Yes, sir. But this is a Sabre Tactical uh, Picatinny to Arca rail. Exactly. Seven inch. So it allows me to move my bipod a little further out front so that I can have a little bit more stability. A little and more that stability means a and, and yeah. pitch. I mean, right. It means a whole lot. Yes, that's right. Uh, that's probably for a shot. That is a key. It's very, it's yeah. very uh, tactical in the sense where we can actually, being out in the field, mm -hmm. adjust to to our needs. Now, we got that. Uh, we got the saber tactical teaching right, 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 right here, and then let's go on back to the back here because we got the saber tactical butt stock, okay, which is beautiful in itself because it allows you to adjust adjust this bad boy up, down, back, forward. And I have the Sabre Tactical Monopod, the field version. Okay. And uh, they make a world of difference. These are things that I did not have on my M3. Exactly. But exactly. plan on getting on my M3. I'm talking Sabre Tactical. And it's a proven item. And the thing is, every time I go to YouTube and I turn to these channels, these different channels, with a lot of good guys out there with a lot of good content, what I'm seeing is Donnie FL, Sabre Tactical, Sabre Tactical, Donnie FL. Yes, that is so true. You can see this Ronin sitting right out here. Ronin sitting at the front. Yep, and I now, walked the Ronin. Here, I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you a question. I need you to be there as honest as possible. Okay. We already know your choice, because you had other choices, right? Oh, yes. On, on the uh, Sabre Tactical Accessory on, mm -hmm. for the Maverick. Yes, I did. We also have other companies that also uh, manufacture these items. Yes. What made you choose Sabre Tactical over the rest? Well, uh, for me, it was seeing proven shooters. Guys right. that have some experience. I you agree know, with you. I lack the experience that they have, but so you know, I, they're good at sharing the knowledge. They're good at passing it down. And I say again, I'm, I keep calling their name: Keith and Norm, sixty-eight whiskey, Justin Jacobson and his crew. And there's another gentleman that I like to mention. He calls himself Hunter One. Okay. All of these guys that you know, competition-wise, you got Keith. You know what he's done. You got Justin. You know what him and his people do. Exactly. They bring this stuff to us. Keith takes it out there in the field, and he he wins, you know, RMAC. You know, so yes. <laughs> what can I say? It's a proven product. It's a proven, a proven product. product. I agree with you 100. From the moderators by Donny FL and Saber Tactical on the TRS, and then I top it off with the Ele Element Optics six by twenty four by fifty first focal plane, mm -hmm. and you got a winner. You got I mean, a winner. Period. Point blank. I'm gonna be honest with you. When I got into the air gun world, I chose the Maverick myself. Okay. Now, my mistake was not taking a look at Donnie's stuff because I thought it was just gonna be heavier. Mm -hmm. And you know, oh, I, no, I, no, no. we're out in the woods. We don't want to carry a heavy gun, but I just felt the weight of this gun. And there's not much of a difference. No, no there's I, not I much mean, of a difference. This what, is light, and and what it's got to offer is it's amazing. So, you know, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm getting the accuracy. I'm getting the rigidity. Exactly. The That's what we wheel. want. That's what we're yes. looking for. That's you don't want shots for. going everywhere. Now, this is the product that I've always enjoyed buying from Donnie. Yes. As you yes. can see, all these are mine here, and. As a hunter, and you're out in the woods, you know how this is. You can't have, you can't even talk out loud because they hear you. Right. You gotta be whispering. Yeah. If you step on a leaf and you crunch, they look. Yeah. So you gotta be, you gotta be like walking right. on ice. Absolutely. And you want and, that and you shot want report. that shot report to be as quiet right. as possible right. because, yeah, we that we we will tend to miss once in a while. Yeah. You know, we're not perfect. But if we miss, we don't want them all running. No, we don't. So we want to be able to have that second chance. 
So that's why I'm so rocking this. This, this Roni, the Fat Boy, the Sumo. What is this? Uh, the Shogun. That's Shogun. the Shogun. And you got all the other ones that Donnie also manufactures that really drop the report, the right. muscle report, that the, uh, the decibel is down to, to almost the bare minimum, which right. helps us out in the field when we're out there hunting. And I got my gun, I got the Roni on mine, the Maverick, and I don't have all these accessories, so you know what, man? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to step up I to the... I work for this. I say... I'm going to have to step up to the plate. me about, hey, not being able to hang out and shoot because I worked to save some money so that I could get this gun just the way I wanted it. Yes. And, and you, that's and, what I'm and, doing. And, One more step is Act Attack. And, and once and I got it... You got it. You yeah. got it. Now, this monopod is a good... It's good for oh, you. Oh, shooting. Oh, yes. Yes. I mean, it's got, this is the field version. Yeah. yeah. This is the field version. They make a more stable platform that's a little wider. It has a base in the back that allows you to swivel to the left and the right. Okay. So I have that, you know, once I'm competition ready. I'm not there yet, but I'll get there. Oh, but we all get there. Yeah, we all get I'm there. Practicing well, I'm practicing too. I'm here with you. So <laughs> I'm practicing too. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I'll tell you can't you. go wrong with Donnie. You, no, can't you can't go wrong with Saber Tactics. You can't, you can't. You can't and, go wrong and, with Utah. Um, I'll be honest with you, yeah. they got great products. And, uh, I, I up front, I haven't been able to afford it just like you. I mean, I've been you know, working on my way to get some of this mm -hmm. stuff, but I'll get there. Yeah. I'm more focused on trying to get my slugs going and, right. and be able to supply the hunting or even the competition shooters the, uh, the ammo they might they, right. they would need to. to. And that's another reason I'm here today is to try out some of those slugs and uh, get this. I haven't even shot this gun yet, folks. I have not fired one round. Everything that you're seeing here is just as I got it. It's from a virgin Detroit air guns, with the exception of the bipod. But this so, thing gets seasoned today, right here with Tony FL. So that's well, where the journey starts. That's, that's where the journey starts. We're gonna we're gonna take this bad boy. We got great equipment on here, same oh, yeah. tactical. We know that this barrel is not gonna give us a. Uh, a strong uh, harmonic tune or vibration. I love this. I love this, and, and we're gonna have accuracy with this. I can see just the way it's set up oh, on yeah. here. It's it's grand purpose. The grand purpose of that backbone right. and what it's gonna do to that barrel. So we already know that this is an amazing uh, moderator, and uh, your adjustment. Uh, yeah, butt uh, stock. Bike, butt stock and the monopod back there. The monopod. This here is beautiful. Yeah. Love it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. You gotta try to find something that will go a little bit further out with the 700cc carbon fiber bottle. Well, I know Donnie. I've seen his products because I purchased his uh, his moderators. I, I mean, I love his products as far as the moderators go. I've never really had my hands on this stuff. Mm -hmm. This is actually my first time seeing it in person and actually touching it. So, um, but I know he's got a longer rail. Okay. Well, I'm gonna be reaching out. And, and, and to, as a matter of fact, Izzy did a video on YouTube pulling oh, out his air gun, and he's got this uh, Arthur rail or, or I, I, offhand, I don't know exactly what it's called. Uh, it's called Window Saver, I think it is, or something like that. Well, I, okay. For you guys who follow pretty much uh, the products, you you know what I'm talking about. But it's a little longer, and Izzy actually sits the the rifle on the window. Of his car, mm -hmm. drops the window and it sits there, and it's you can actually oh, slide it back and forth wow. or whatever. Um, it's got some knob down here, and you know it's it's I pretty good. Let's see. It's it's. I mean, I just saw the video once, and and I kind of liked it. Um, my my uh, hats off to you, man. Well, hey, my hats off to you. My hats off to Saber Tactical. Oh, Donnie yeah, FL, FL for all Saber Tactical producing these amazing products and, and Utah air guns. taking these. FX air guns to another level because that's exactly oh, what you guys did. Up. Anyway, yeah. we're gonna jump into the next step is we're gonna take this gun and fire it. Okay. I know Utah Air Guns has has uh, tuned this gun for you, and you you said you were shooting. Uh, they they gave you a right. They gave me a sheet that showed it shooting the uh, GSP forty four point seven five range at nine ten. Okay. And uh, so I'm <laughs> I'm ready to find out. This is a dedicated slug. 
Okay. And nothing but slugs. Now, they, those JSBs weren't slugs, they were pellets. They, they, were, they were pellets. They were pellets, they okay. Were pellets. Now, there's a big difference between right. a pellet and a slug. You know, a slug is, is, has more okay. stability in flight. Um, so, everybody, what we're going to do next is we're going to take this gun into my workshop and we're going to do a little tuning. And we're going to take this out to the, to the range, 25 yards outside of my house, and we're going to sight it in. And if we have time today, we're going to take it out to the 50 yards. Most likely we'll take a ride down to the range and shoot this and get this thing shooting slugs. But now, before we go, can I ask one thing? I, this gun, can we... Pull yours into the frame and uh, oh sure pictures. sure sure because I just want folks to see the stock version okay versus, yeah and that's not saying bad now because it's no. a beautiful shooting gun no but this is the stock version and this is Utah Air Guns Donny FL at their absolute best yes it is and uh, now this is a stock gun all my upgrades on my gun are internal. I, I don't have much external upgrades, and you know I got a 3D printed barrel band, a 3D printed bud stop. Like I said a, li a little earlier, I try to keep my gun light, but I wasn't aware that there wasn't. Let me see here. There's not much of a difference. Yeah. There's not much of a difference in weight. I mean, it's not gonna change anything. No. I'll tell you what so, I can. I, I, what I'm going like to be honest. Change. I'd like to get a couple of those stickers. <laughs> oh. If you can help me out with that. Oh, the, the sticker? Yeah. I got a few for you. get a couple of those stickers, man. We'll, we'll put a few of my Tony EFL stickers on here. And that's... Uh, oh, and I, by the way, folks, there is a tungsten hammer on the inside of this bad boy. Yes. There is a tungsten hammer. Well, my, like I was trying to say a little while ago, my gun doesn't have all these accessories. I wish it did. Because uh, now I know there's not much of a difference yeah. in weight. I mean, you can move and, just like you can with the stock version. And exactly, and I'm seeing that already. Now, I dedicated myself to upgrading my, my gun internally mm -hmm. for the hunt, for the right. shot. So I do have a tungsten hammer in here. Okay. I do have a 700 heavy liner in here. I do have the carbon fiber in here. And obviously my modern, my right, Roni. Gotta love this thing. I love Donnie my Ronies. Yeah. Yeah, I love my Donnies. You know, like I said, I want to shoot as quiet as I can. I don't want nobody to know I'm there. <laughs> so, <laughs> dude said it best, and I give you props, Donnie. When silence is a priority, Donnie's the know, one to yeah, go to. We know it's you, so Donnie's the go. one to go to, most definitely. And I, I'm with it. I'm with it. I've always been with it. So, YouTubers, this is Tony Fell. And we're going to take this to the next level. Yeah. We're going to take this gun. He's got all his internals identical to mine. So yeah. I got this gun shooting my Terminator slugs, 60 grain, 30 caliber. Well, this is a 25. But we're going to get uh, the 30 caliber slugs, 60 grain, shooting out of this gun. And I'm going to tune his gun to perform as well as possible, shooting that kind of weight. And we're gonna go hopefully prep this gun to knock down yeah, we'll bring that to some you. hogs. Yeah, we'll bring that to bring that footage to you. We'll be right back. Thank you. Hey YouTube, we're back and we got the uh, FX Maverick with all the Saber Tactical gear and the uh, Donnie Felroni on here and we got a Helix scope and we're in the tuning process right now. So Right now we're we got the 60 grain slugs that I that I produce and we're making the proper adjustments so we can get this gun to shoot these slugs. So just follow through and I hope I can keep you entertained. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna have to go back here. You already cocked it. Already cocked it. Let's see what we got. Let's see if we got what we're looking for. Take these off. I'm not going to shoot at those bottles here, but... 108.5 Oh, 
Okay, so we're not we're not too far. 902. 902. I'd like to see some more. Okay, 902. So let's let's uh, turn the mic around. I know already. Yeah, trust me. This. Trust me. Do a quarter turn on the mic. Bring it back to seven. Here we go. Nine hundred. Zero. Okay. So right now we're at number seven on the Mac dial, and about three turns out, if I'm not mistaken, on the uh, micro. I don't understand why my dot, my FX. He's not reading the feet per second, but it is shooting at 900 feet per second with 108 foot pounds. I don't know if you guys can see that. So we're gradually working this gun to get to shoot a 60 grain, thir uh, 60 grain, 30 caliber slug. Right now she's at 900. So we got to do a little more uh, creeping up on the regs here and there. And the goal is not to push too much air out in the process. We want that valve to close at, an, at, at the appropriate time before that round exits that barrel. So we don't have that excessive air blast. So uh, just keep on, stay with us and we're gonna continue doing this. All right, let's go. Let's empty this, decock this. Okay, take the bottle off. Okay, that's enough. Okay, let's empty this out. out of the front reg. I'm going to raise the front reg another 10 bar. And then actually I'm going to raise it 5 bar because we're not that far. And we were at 140 in the rear so let's screw this back on. in the bottle, or 250 actually, 250 in the bottle, 155 in the front reg, I'm going to take this up to 160, take it up to 160, I'm going to find the damn Allen's, <laughs> it up. I don't want too much. I mean, it's a little further than I expected, but that's, that's right. Alright, unscrew the bottle. Let me, don't do that yet. Let me see something. I want to see if it settles. That's good right there. All right, take the uh, unscrew the bottle. Okay. 
Okay, that's good. Now we're going to uh, empty this out. We're going to dump the air out of the plenum. Okay, we're dropping, we're dropping, we're dropping. this regulator. Okay. Alright, let's clean the bottle. So we got our front rig at 160 now, that's pretty good. Okay, now we're showing 30 on the rear. I didn't. I, I never tightened that reg that reg screw all the way down because it's got a little uh, little white seal in there that if you crush it, it ruins. It gets ruined. So we're gonna counterclockwise. I'm gonna bring this. So we got 160. We're gonna bring this up. On there. That's that's a uh, eighty. Let's see. I'm, I'm gonna bring this up because if we're gonna, what were we in the front, in the rear? Uh, I forgot what we had in the rear. We had one forty-five, right? No, we had uh, one sixty in the front. In the front. And one forty-five in the rear, right? Was it? Should have wrote this down. I'm trying to remember. Okay. So I'm gonna bring this up a little more. Find the damn down. Tighten the bottle. Let me close this rag. Rag 175 in the front. You want to tighten it out? Or? Yeah, tighten it down. We're in the sort of field here, so we're, we're tag teaming this. 
<laughs> we're not in a workshop, so we're actually tuning this gun out, out in the open. So, okay, let's bring this up. Second, that's a 60 grain slug. All right, let me come back on this quarter turn. I'll take this a quarter turn in, or actually out. Back to seven.
Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We're gonna take it up five, five more bars. All right. We got one seventy-five and so We're almost close to my settings. I just should have just put it on my settings. I'm just trying to help you save a little air. So, so one seventy-five, and we're gonna take it to one fifty. You got bit, huh? Yeah, with the ant. <laughs> 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 